Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and today I'm gonna to show y'all how to use the doodle effect inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so I've got several different examples inside my timeline, and I wanna show y'all how it works with video, animations, and text. All right, so my first example, I've got a video clip, and I need to add the doodle effect to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my effects, I'm gonna find the doodle effect, left click it, and drag it onto my video clip. All right, so now what that does is it opens up the properties for your doodle effect. Now, if you don't see the properties, um, just go ahead and go to the clip you added it to, select it, and then click on the doodle effect itself, or you can select the clip and then go to the effects on the right side of your screen there and then select the doodle effect and your properties window will pop up. So different ways to get to the menu, but ultimately it takes you to the same place. All right, so once inside, uh, you got different options for drawing. You can set it to a racing mode. You've got automatic mode, manual mode, um, but we're gonna focus on automatic and drawing right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and change hands. So you can adjust your hands by selecting it and then scrolling down and seeing all the different options that Create Studio Pro gives you. So once you find the one that you want, select it and then it will appear here on your screen, right? Um, now the next thing you can do is adjust the hand size. So you can adjust it manually by typing in a number and then hitting enter. Or you can move your mouse towards the percent sign and it turns into like a double sided arrow. And if you left click and hold, and then drag to the left, it gets smaller. Or if you drag to the right, it gets larger. So just keep in mind that if you make it too small, you'll see that it's cut off right there and you'll see the arm in frame as it's going across screen. So go ahead and make sure that it's in frame or out of frame there a little bit off screen so it appears off there a little bit like that. All right, so once you got that set, you can go to shaking. So if I, again, adjust the shaking, the smaller the number, the less handshake I get as I go across screen. If I make the number bigger, then the shake gets more intense and then it shakes more as it goes across screen. So I'm gonna set it to about, for this example, set it to 10. And then the next option you have is show hand. Show hand, right now it's there. If I turn it off, it takes the hand away, but the effect still happens. So that's pretty cool to be able to use that without the hand or with it. Um, draw hand on top. Uh, starts it at the point that the path is set. Um, and if you remove that, then it kind of goes off access a little bit and then it draws out the sequence that you want. So we'll leave draw hand on top, but we're gonna take the hand away for this example. So I've got this picture of this skate park, right? And I've got my video clip here. And then what's gonna happen is the transition is gonna, it's gonna move across screen and it's gonna reveal my video clip. So if I play it back, it shows it right there, right? Now, if I want that to be a little slower of a transition, I select my, uh, my doodle effect, put my cursor towards the end there, and then left click and drag it out. And the longer it is, the slower the transition will be, and the shorter it is, the quicker it will be, right? So I want it to be a little longer, so I'm gonna drag it out. And now when I play it back, it gives that nice transition that fits the mood of the video. So that's one way to use the doodle effect with video clips. You can use it without the hand, and I kind of use it as a transition piece, which is pretty cool. All right, our next example is a 2D animation, and I have it sitting in idle, and then he jumps on his rocket. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the doodle effect to this guy. So I'm gonna go to my effects, left click on the doodle effect, and then drag it onto my animation. All right, once it's there, um, you can play it back and see that it draws him out, and then he jumps on his rocket. Well, I want him to be drawn out all the way until he jumps on his rocket, which is happening right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my, uh, my clip here and then drag out the doodle effect until it reaches that point that it changes in the animation, right? So now when I play it back, it draws him out and then he jumps on the rocket. There we go, just like that. All right, so now what I wanna do though is I wanna draw my own path, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then go into manual mode, all right? So inside manual mode, you have a new option called path. Now, if I click on edit path, you'll see the path that Create Studio Pro has already made for us. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clear it because I wanna draw the path and create the area where I want it to start and end. So if you look here, it automatically tells you if you wanna add a point, you control click, and if you wanna remove a point, you shift control click. So if I hold control on the keyboard, and I'm gonna have it go from the top to bottom now, I'm gonna control click on that first point. So hold control, left click with my mouse, and there we go, I've made my first point. Now if I do that again, left click and then hold control, um, you got another point made. So that's your first path, it's gonna go from here to here. Now if I control click again all the way through, I've started to make my way across 
the animation here, right? Now, the thing you want to want to watch out for is you don't want to have these empty spots. So the white dots are the path in which the hand is going to follow. And the highlighted area is the amount of animation that's going to be shown or revealed, I should say. So if you have an empty spot like that, it's going to be missing and it's not going to look right. So make sure you go in there and readjust your points so that the highlighted area will meet all of the animation requirements. All right. So once you got that set, you can adjust the draw size, which is the highlighted area. So you can punch it in manually again, or you can use the arrows there and left click and drag to the left or right. Dragging to the left makes the highlighted area more narrow. Dragging to the right makes the highlighted area more wide, right? So if you're working with text or something, maybe you want to narrow it out. Um, and if you're working with more of like a wider range animation, you know, you want to widen it out. But the option's there for you to do. All right, so once you got that set, um, don't forget to hit finish. And then once you hit finish, you can play it back. Now it draws it up from the bottom and then boom, he jumps on his rocket. So that's a way to like manually draw points, which is pretty cool. All right, next up, we've got a more 3D style animation. And he's this guy that is working out in a gym, pumping some iron for the summer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the doodle effect to this guy. So I'm gonna go to my effects, go to my doodle effect. I'm gonna drag it onto my animation. All right, once it's added, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how erasing works. All right, so right now we've been in drawing mode in automatic, we've done manual, but we're gonna go to erasing and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It's automatically off when you open up the doodle effect. So once you select it, make sure to go ahead and flick it on. And you'll see in your animation there, it added it to the end, the erasing category there. So if you go ahead and play it back, it erases, right? So you can adjust the eraser just like you can with the drawing version. So make sure you select the eraser and then if I go to change hand, you'll see I got different eraser options and I could choose maybe this red eraser and I could adjust the hand size again if I need to. Let's go ahead and drag it over there so you can see it. Um, let's make that a little bigger. Let's do a little less shake and we're going to show the hand on that one. So I do want it to happen a little slower. So let's drag it out. And now he's repping some, some biceps and then he starts to get erased, right? So that's one way to use the eraser. Um, but the option is there for you to use. So just another feature inside the doodle effect that you can utilize. Um, so you can have it, uh, an animation be drawn in and then you can have it be drawn out. So that's pretty cool. All right, next up, we've got the text effect and in the text effect, I'm going to go ahead and add it. So it reveals my bring your text to life with doodling, right? So let's go ahead and go to effects, go to the doodle effect. I'm going to left click and drag it onto my text. And then as you can see, it reveals the text, right? So that's pretty cool, but I'm going to have it happen a little slower, but also I'm going to go into my properties and I'm going to go into manual mode because you can see right here that the G and the Y here are kind of like not there. That's because the path is not in those letters correctly. So I need to go into manual mode and I need to go to edit path. And there you can see if I zoom in a little more that I can take these points and left click and drag them down a little bit to cover the missing little letters there that are that are not, not shown, I should say. All right, so once I got that, um, I should be pretty good. Um, oh, look, see, I see a spot right here. This G right here is off, so I'm gonna pull those down to correct that. All right, so once I got that done, I can hit finish, and then now it will draw out my text. So that's a cool way to utilize text and, and bring it to life a little better. Um, and also it shows you how to go in there and manually adjust the letters into itself as well. Um, so hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of this tutorial. Um, I can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.